They just can't get it squared away. Hey, y'all, welcome back to the vlog. Okay, it's Thursday, March 10th. Yes, March 10th. And um, I don't have to take Jackson to Taekwondo tonight. I do have, will you get that mister going? Is it going? Okay. Had, did you put some drops in it? I and did then, not turn it on. Okay, put some drops in there, turn it off, put some drops in. That candle over there can go because that candle is not the best. Um, it just keeps burning out on itself, so let's just let it go. Why didn't light it? Well, I don't want to sit in there if it's not for light. I have two in here. In my room, though. Oh, was that one in your room? Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought that was the one. Mm-mm. Just my handle. This is a good one here. We'll light this one. What am I doing? Here, just sit that in there. We oh, like that. So. Those two cans nope. can go in the trash. Um, dang it. Do we need to watch or do we need some motivation? Um, it, uh, probably some motivation. I'm sure that's what y'all need. I'm good. Actually, will you turn on YouTube and find me some, some music? Yeah, those can go. That one and that one can go. Um, I love this. Do y'all have a thing in your bathroom? What's the thing? A melter? Mm-mm. Don't have room for one anyway. So there's only two plugs in the whole box Okay. Plus, there's, our there's a wax melter in my bathroom. Bring it back in here. In the corner, we don't have another. There's a wax melter in my bathroom. Bring it back in here because my bathroom is overrun with stuff. Put it right there since nothing else is on that side of the cabinet. And we will put those. I love those um, buttercream or sickle creams or whatever you call them. The cream. The orange cream. I love that one. Jackson, help. Hey there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go get the warmer thing we're doing. And then we'll put this orange yeah. buttercream cake. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. Right? All that. So we um are just getting home from work. And when I come home from work, my house has to smell good. And if my house don't smell good, I mean, it don't smell bad, but I, I need to smell. Like, I love candles. I love candles. If you ever think about something to get for a Shakima, I love candles. And I only buy them, like, when I get paid once a month, if if I remember or if, if I can fit it in my budget. So, I don't think I bought candles. But we do have a couple misters. Um, I think I got that one for my birthday. That's a mister that we got for my birthday. And then we have the um, Scentsy thing that I got from a friend of mine years and years ago. So I bought, this is the Better Homes and Garden Orange Buttercream Cupcake. I love this one. I think I paid $2 for this. So anywho, as I'm getting ready to clean, um, as I'm getting ready to meal prep, which is what I'm doing, um, I have to get my space together, right? I got to mentally get my life. So I'm getting ready to do a couple of things in this Instant Pot. I'm going to do three different things. The first thing is I'm going to do some deviled eggs. I'm um, some angel eggs because we ain't we saved over here. Some angel eggs and then I'm going to do some potatoes and then I'm going to do some Spanish rice that I saw uh, Becky on Acre Homestead do. So I'm going to recreate that. Just add a little twist to it in here. Then what else was I going to meal prep? Will you go check my, will you bring my my um, planner in here? And I'll tell myself, I wrote it down. I can't remember. I only have about an hour. I really don't even have that much time because I've got to do Alana's hair as well. So I'm trying to do a few things at a time. I'm going to wash my hands one more time. I've already washed them, but you know, when you're in the kitchen, you got to wash your hands. Because if you don't wash your hands, we're not going to eat here. We're not going to eat here. Um, we, what are we not going to do? Eat here. Oh. I'm going to make the um, Whole30 muffin tops again. I'm going to get that done. I'm also going to move the, all the cranberries. I'm going to put those in some um, mason jars. We're going to get the strawberries washed up and put those in some mason, mason jars to kind of preserve life a little bit so we're not losing food, right? This is a pantry week for us. Yes, but put it over there, please, because I'm going to put my working name up there, my kitchen name. We're doing, um, flip over one more page. Um, another one. Yeah, keep going, sister. Yeah, right there. Mm -mm. That's not the right week. Okay. Here we go. Where is it? Yeah. This is six through four. Yeah, I'm going to do the shaved steak. I'll go ahead and get that done because that's easy to do. Um, so I'm doing in the Instant Pot, I'm doing... Eggs, potatoes, and salsa rice or Mexican rice. 
um, eggs, 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 eggs. And then we're going to actually do um, restock, right? So usually what we take one day during the week and we restock all of the things. Waters, we restock toilet papers, paper towels, eggs, yeah, how many? Twelve. And then why is that food sitting in there crazy? I can refix it. No, we'll take it out and let's figure out what we can use and what needs to go. Okay. So Jackson is giving me some eggs. I think I probably still need to get another one. Another what? Thing of eggs. minutes on steam five minutes release and then five minutes in some water and they're gonna uh, peel really easily i love doing eggs in the instant pot turn this on jackson okay go in the kitchen and get us that's going everything is closed I'm gonna do this on steam five minutes five minute quick release five minute water bath peel now I'm gonna transition myself over to the baking station because I need to do the whole 30 um, muffin tops I really do like those and so I'd usually have one of those every morning on my way to work because it's easy to just um, grab it and go um, Alana does it in the air fryer with a little bit of the plant-based butter and we just move on with our life, right? So I'm going to do head over to do that now. I might be out of bulbs. I'm not sure why I might. All right, I'm gonna make the um, Whole30, no, that's the vegan cheese sauce. Where's my recipe for the, no, no, no. My recipe for the Whole30 muffin tops? Has to be, because I use it. These I need to use. Those are bamboo cutting boards, which I need those. What are they for? What are they about? They're cutting boards. Are they like eco-friendly or something? Eco-friendly, yeah. Oh, what does that mean? I think I got them for a Christmas present. Yeah. Okay. Jackson, we need waters. Okay. Water, water refills. I'm looking for my recipe. That's Gotta have it. I got these cutting boards for Christmas last year, I think. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to put these under my cabinet because I use cutting boards all the time. But we have those flimsy plastic ones. They're not my fave. So I'm going to live my best life and try to just use these wooden ones and throw away the other ones. You know, Okay, that fit fine, so I'm just collecting some trash. As we get rid of things, I'm collecting lots of trash. 
because it's refill day, right? So we want to make sure we refill all the waters, all the toilet papers in the bathroom. This is just the day we have to do it. Normally, I would like to do this on Saturdays, but Saturdays I'm doing Titus too. This week I have a member meeting, and um, it's just yes, then I have to pick up Alana, stuff. and we're dre we're dress shopping for the prom. So it's just things, right? So I take the moments where I can find them. For all of you single moms, single working moms, single working dads, don't let me leave nobody out. Um, you know, take it where you can get it. Oh, I don't need this, actually. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the food processor. Save that. Save a dish. A whole giant dish. Mm -hmm. But, um, I don't know where in the world that recipe is. Okay, I might just have to look it up. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. Why do we have a microwave bowl up here? Not a clue. I mean, like a microwave. No thing. clue. It's from the old one. What is? I don't think we would have kept it, though. A what now? A microwave, you know, plate. Probably. Just, oh, you know, I was thinking in case we break this one. It's from the old microwave, but in case it breaks, I wanted to have a, a, um, a backup. Yeah. What is it? Microwave plate. Okay. I don't know. Oh, look at my room to see if it's not in there somewhere. And if not, let's just look it up in my computer. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put my apron on. What was it, babe? In your room. Oh, on the desk. On the desk? Okay. Underneath your cabbage soup papers. Oh, okay. All right, so here's my recipe. This is the Whole30 Banana Bread Drop Muffins. This came from allrecipes.com. It's very easy to put together. I've got some overripe bananas that I need to use. So I want to use them. I don't want to. No food waste, right? No food waste. Um, and I'll show you what Jackson is doing real fast. So Jackson is refilling waters. That's one of the jobs that we do. We use them and we refill. And so, you know, it's just a way of, this is how we family. This is how we, we all work together. Everybody works. Everybody does. If I'm not here, that doesn't mean we can't get stuff done. If they're here, they do it. If they're not here, I do it. So we all working together. So I'm gonna get that um, food processor. That's what I'm looking for. Mom, that's what. Can we also maybe look up some other stuff? Like what? Like, oh, those are some good songs. But, um, like some other things. Let me see. Other things we can do, look at So, what's stopping you from looking it up? Do you, can we look it up or can I look it up? Which one are you stopping? I never remember. Oh, well, okay. Well, I Not remember your day. about the worst times. Today's the day to remember. Oh, what if I forget, like, Honey, I'm like Michael Jackson. Do you remember the time? No. Do you remember the time? What time? The time you looked it up, do you uh, remember? I didn't look it up at all. Because oh. I didn't tell, I didn't think of it until right When's now. When's today's your day? Today's your day? Well, I won't remember this later. Okay, but look it up right now. What are you doing at the moment? Okay, so this calls for two ripe bananas, right? So I've actually been using four small ones to be two large ones. Some of the really, really ripe ones we had over there had mold on them, so I just tossed those. We're not even going to try to deal, right? So again, we're still trying to decrease food waste, and that got past me. That's all. I was busy. Didn't get a chance to do it. Um, Jackson likes these muffin top things as well. Sister, not so much. She doesn't really like anything. We're praying for her. 
They're very soft, but this is where the sweetness comes in. This is how the um, recipe gets its sweetness. So no sugar. So it won't take anything for these to blend. They'll blend up just fine. Put them um, on a paper towel to dry. And then we're going to put them in some um, mason jars. Okay, I'm going to mix this. I need some dates. What do I want them for? Your things. I bought them for you. I mean, when we, they look like this. Well, I'll use them when they look like that. But I bought those bananas for you. Good. I mean, well, I, I did go real quick. So I usually put some dates in just to help with a little extra sweetness. Um, I just put them in there so it can all fit together. This is for a little extra added sweetness. It doesn't need this, and the recipe does not call for it. Jackson, I think I need... Quarter cup of coconut oil. Do we, I know I need tissue in my bathroom. I just want to make sure those dates are all chopped. This is preservative free, no sugar added, California um, neglect, uh, neglect nor dates, pitted dates. So no sugar, no preservatives, just 100% dates. I'm going to put this in the fridge because yeah. I want to make sure that it lasts. Yeah, it says for best quality refrigerate after opening. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator just because we use dates for sweetener when we're doing Whole30. And um, so I just want to make sure that we don't lose any. Okay, let's quick release those eggs. Eggs are done. Okay, I'm gonna work on this recipe. Y'all see me make this before, so I'm gonna go ahead and work on it. And then we'll come back when we're at the next. All right, I'm getting ready to work on the uh, Mexican rice. So I'm gonna do two cups of this long uh, whole grain brown rice. This is just whole grain brown rice. I found this at um, Hair Cedar. I'm just using a third cup measure, so I'm gonna do six of these. of it all over the kitchen. You doing good? No problem. Perfect. You want to go ahead and turn off? What, babe? The steak. Turn the uh, thing on. Just turn it on. Yeah, it's going to take a minute to... You don't need to put anything in it, right? Mm-mm. Melt right That's two cups of the whole grain brown rice we're going to just uh, put a twist tie on this we'll use the rest of it at another time this oh i was using the um directions so this calls for five cups of water i'm going to put four cups 
because I'm gonna put a whole thing of salsa in here. So I'm gonna put four cups of water. Alana, give me some butter. <laughs> what? It says what? Ooh, break it down. <laughs> break it down. Yeah. Hey, listen, if you break it down, I may as well break you it down. Some? No, give me something else. Just a scoopable kind is fine. And this can go up since I didn't find my watching name. What are we not finding? The um, bowl for the... Okay. Hey. This is Saison. This is Goya Saison. This is the Cone African. So I'm going to use two packets of this. Oh, when you see a little brown rice that got a little browner than you want, you pluck it out. Pluck it out. Pluck it out. I ended up not having a lot of potatoes, so I'm skipping that. I'm skipping the potatoes right now. Because I only have three small ones. That's not going to be enough, so I'm not even going to deal. Okay? This is white pepper. The only thing about white pepper is because it doesn't look black. Or you don't see the black specks. You can have a heavy hand on the pepper. I'm going to put some salt. Don't measure any of this. I just do it to looks. So if y'all need measurements, call Tyrone. <laughs> Onion powder. He the person that's gonna help him because Shakima cannot. I cannot do it today. And a little bit of garlic. Uh oh. How do you like Garlic. That's going wrong. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a whole jar. This is mild chunky salsa, and I'm gonna put. Mm, I want to put the whole jar. Let me think. Let me think this through. Oh, yeah. It's two cups. Mm -hmm. So let me do... I did one cup. I did half the jar. Maybe a little bit over. put some butter in here probably a couple tablespoons probably two good tablespoons I'm gonna live my best life that's gonna be the end of that the trivet no oh the little egg plat under there okay I'm closing the seal and I'm just gonna put that on um, rice And I'm gonna put it on 15 minutes, right? So it's gonna come up to pressure and it's gonna rice. Yes, it is. It's on auto, praise it, bless it, and I'm gonna clean, right? Even though you batch cooking or you know, meal prepping or whatever it is you're doing, you can still clean your kitchen as you go along, right? Back to the muffin tops. Okay, so I'm back to the muffin tops. I've got my flour mixture, almond flour mixture. These are all things for the dishwasher. And then this is my wet. So my dry and my wet, we're just gonna mix together. And that's going to be it. Right, let me get grab this out. It does smell sweet because of the banana and the dates make it sweet. It's going to be almost like a tacky dough. Tacky, it's not going to be overly firm or overly loose. It shouldn't be, but my bananas were extremely ripe. And I put four small ones instead of just two large ones, but I've, I've used four before and it's worked out. Then I want to scrape all of this out so I'm not losing anything. What, babe? Probably water. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm just gonna stir, stir, stir just to incorporate. Oven's ready, 350 degrees. It looks a little wet, but then there's dry flour on the bottom. So I'm just kind of slowly incorporating this until all that dry flour has been incorporated into the wet mixture. Do you want any oil on this one? Um, uh, you can put a little on. Some of the, use the baking grease. Right, see, there's still some of that dry flour, so you want to make sure. And again, this is almond flour. That it comes together. It's very tacky, very sticky. And we're just gonna put it in those muffin, muffin top things that I got from Amazon. The one thing I have been adding is a few uh, cranberries. So I'm gonna add about a half a cup cranberries just to give it a little extra something. fold we did try the um baked oatmeal my kids didn't love it and i didn't love it so oatmeal is just not our thing unless we're making cookies okay now i'm just going to stuff the muffin tops with these and we're going to be done to the oven What's this soup? Okay, chicken and rice or chicken salad? That's rice. That's rice. Okay, do you want 
chicken and rice or do you want chicken salad? What do you want? to get started on your hair. At least start it.
Okay, here's our rice. Of course, that salsa is all at the top. I'm flaking it, fluffing the rice. There's a lot of liquid left in here. I actually may just need to let this saute a little bit, but I think that rice is cooked perfectly, right? And it'll absorb all this liquid at some point. What I'm actually gonna do is take some of this rice and put it into some chicken and rice that I was just doing on the stove. And that'll kind of balance it out. Or maybe I'll bring the chicken and rice over here and I'll dump it into here. So this is chicken, really fine, fine ground, finely ground chicken with a little rice we had in the fridge. So I'm going to add it to this uh, instant pot. And having that, because it's pretty dry, that chicken is anyway, it's going to help to soak up some of this liquid that's still in the bottom of here. had to get it remember this is our family size pan i like it for um, meal prepping ahead because i can do a couple of things i did the beef and broccoli in here now the beef and broccoli i didn't finish it i just got the beef done and the broccoli all in there so whatever sauce i need to use i can do that so i'm gonna put this back on the oven and then stir that this is just i'm gonna just work in this rice it's already soaking up that moisture so it's just gonna be a Mexican chicken and rice. Did a great job soaking up that extra. So that's what it looks like, it's just chicken and rice. So kind of like a chicken bog, but it's just um, Mexican flavor. Chicken and rice is chicken bog. So that's, that's done. And you don't need anything else with that. We throw a little Mexican cheese, a little sour cream on it if we want. We do have the dairy-free sour cream, but that's the end of that. And then right here, we just have the bacon. I meant not bacon, the um, shaved steak and broccoli, right? So that's another meal. That's a meal and a lunch. We did not get to the strawberries yet, and then that's what's left in the fridge from leftovers this past week, right? So just a little bit of cabbage, some white chicken chili, some corn, I'm sure Jackson opened that, and then a little bit of chicken. I'm gonna cook the rest of that broccoli at some point. Now, my muffin tops, I, this has never happened before. So they're perfectly cooked on this side, but the bottoms got brown. Normally I cook them in these little trivets here, and it did not do that, but it did get a little dark, which is fine. So I'm just gonna cut the bottoms off of these and eat them. It'll, it'll be perfectly fine with no problem. Alrighty, you guys, so we're done. Those are the deviled eggs that Alana made, all done. Angel eggs, Lord bless it, angel eggs. We save around here. This is the chicken bog, which is the Mexican chicken bog. That's just uh, ground chicken and rice with Mexican seasonings and taco um salsa this is beef and broccoli of course this is just cooked there's no sauce no no um i did put a little seasoning but there's no sauce so if we want to do like um beef and broccoli like they would do oriental i'd add in a you know like coconut aminos and that type of thing to make that a beef and broccoli but that is done and then over here my muffin tops are done with the exception of these little boogers that burned but I'm gonna cut, like I said, I'm gonna cut that burned bottom off and live my best life. They just weren't as thick as these other ones. And I probably should have put them on the top. These are soft, right? These are a little bit more hard, but I like mine a little more firm. I like mine like that, and I'm the only one who eats them anyway. So there we are with that. So there it is, you guys. We did about an hour. An hour of meal prep. It took a few steps. We still have a few dishes to um, do. But other than that, the only thing we didn't get done were the strawberries, right? I didn't get them done. And I forgot about the peppers. I need to cut them up for um, 
unstuffed peppers, but I'm not cooking that today. So I'll get it tomorrow. It'll be fine. So anywho, you guys, thank you so much for joining us in our kitchen. There it is. If you liked the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.